everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here in this video. We are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equations with variable questions. So let's get going. Problem. Solve x square into d square y by dx square minus 3x into dy by dx plus 4y equals to x square plus cos of log x. Solution. Given differential equation. x square into d square y by dx square minus 3x into dy by dx plus 4y equal to x square plus cos of log x. So here we are having variable questions. We are going to reduce this equation to an equation with constant questions by making a substitution. We know that d is a differential operator with independent variable x, then d square will be d square by dx square. Now this equation becomes x square into d square y minus 3x into dy plus 4y equal to x square plus cos of log x. Right? Now take y common from all the three terms of LHS. Then we will get x square d square minus 3x d plus 4 into y equal to x square plus cos of log x, which is a Cauchy's equation. Now we need to make the substitution. Put x equals to e power z, then log x equals to z for x greater than 0. Let Theta equals to d by dz, where theta is a differential operator with independent variable z. And xd equals to theta, x squared d squared equal to theta of theta minus 1. Then this equation becomes, this equation becomes, replace x squared d squared x dx and log x. We'll replace x square d square by theta of theta minus 1 minus 3 into replace x d by theta plus 4 into y equal to replace x by e power z. We'll get e power z whole square plus cos of replace log x by z. We'll get cos z simply. Then Theta into theta, theta square minus theta minus 3 theta plus 4 into y equal to e power 2z plus cos z, right? Then theta square minus theta minus 3 theta is minus 4 theta plus 4 into y equal to e power 2z plus cos z. So we have reduced the given equation to an equation with constant coefficients. Right? Which is also in operator form. Which is in operator form f of theta into y equal to some function of z. f of theta into y equals to some function of z. Where f of theta equal to theta square minus 4 theta plus 4. Now we need to find General solution to the given equation which is given by y equal to y3 plus yp. Let's now find yc and yp. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0 where f of m equal to, we have f of theta, theta square minus 4 theta plus 4, right? Let's replace differential operator theta by m. So that we'll get f of m equals to m square minus 4m plus 4. Then our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 4m plus 4 equal to 0, right? This equals to, I mean this becomes, you can write, Minus 4m as minus 2 into 2 into m plus write this 4 as 2 square equals to 0. This is of a square minus 2ab 
plus b square which is an expansion of a minus b whole square form you can write it as a minus b whole square equals to 0 now write m minus 2 whole square as m minus 2 into m minus 2 now equate each factor to 0 when m minus 2 equals to 0 m equals to 2 right since m minus 2 is repeating twice so we'll get m equals to 2 and 2 the roots are real and equal We know that when two roots are real and equal, say m1 equals to m2, then yc looks like c1 plus c2z into e power that equal root into z. Right? Now coming to our complementary function. yc equals to c1 plus c2 into equal root sorry z into e power that equal root into z is equals to c1 plus c2 z into e power 2 z so we are having yc in terms of z we need to change in terms of x right so for that purpose i'll write e power 2 z as e power z whole square now we'll replace e power z by x and z by log x here. Then yc becomes c1 plus c2 into log x into replace e power z by x will get x squared. We got yc. Let's now find yt particular integral we will find particular integral using 1 by f of theta into q of z we have f of theta and q of z where f of theta is theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 and q of z is e power 2z plus cos z Right? Is equals to 1 by theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 into e power 2z plus 1 by theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 into cos z. Now we can find each term separately. First one. 1 by theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 into e power 2z. So this is all. 1 by f of theta into e power a z form, right? We have f of theta equals to theta square minus 4 theta plus 4. Now, compare e power 2 z with e power a z. Then for a equals to 2, we'll find f of a is equals to f of 2. Just replace theta by 2, then we'll get 2 square minus 4 into 2 plus 4. Which is equals to 2 square 4 minus 4 2 is 8 plus 4. Equals to 4 plus 4, 8 minus 8 is 0. Since by replacing theta by 2, we'll get the denominator 0. If we replace theta by 2, we'll get 1 by 0 into e power 2z, right? Since 1 by 0 is undefined, so total term becomes undefined. So what we have to do? We'll just... Write 1z into 1 by... Write the derivative of f of theta. That is, we need to find f dash of theta. This is equals to 2 theta minus 4 into e power 2z. Now, again, find f dash of a, which is equals to f dash of 2, equal to 2 into 2 minus 4, which is equals to 4 minus 4 is 0, right? Again, we got 0, so we can't replace theta here also. Since f of 2 is equals to 0. Since 
f dash of 2 equal to 0. Then again z into write one more z into 1 by find the derivative of f dash of theta. Derivative of f dash of theta is f double dash of theta which is equals to 2, right? Into e power 2z. This is equals to z square e power 2z by 2. So the result obtained from the first term is z square into e power 2z by 2. Now coming to the second term. 1 by f of theta into cos z. So this is all. 1 by f of theta into cos az form. Right? Now compare cos z with cos az. We will get a equals to 1. For a equals to 1 we will find theta square which is given by minus of a square equals to minus of 1 square is minus 1. And we have f of theta theta square minus 4 theta plus 4. Right? Always remember that the denominator must be non-zero. If the denominator becomes 0, we will get 1 by 0 into cos z. Since 1 by 0 is undefined, so total term becomes undefined. Now, replace theta squared by minus 1. We will get minus 1 minus 4 theta plus 4 equal to minus 1 plus 4 is 3 minus 4 theta, which is a non-zero term. Right? Now, replace theta squared by minus 1, then this becomes 1 by minus 1 minus 4 theta plus 4 into cos z, this equals to 1 by minus 1 plus 4 is 3 minus 4 theta into cos z. So in the denominator we are having 3 minus 4 theta, right? Replace this minus by plus, then we will get 3 plus 4 theta, right? Now multiply and divide 3 plus 4 theta to this fraction. This becomes 1 into 3 plus 4 theta is 3 plus 4 theta by 3 minus 4 theta into 3 plus 4 theta is 3 plus 4 theta into 3 minus 4 theta into cos z. Right? This equals to 3 plus 4 theta by the denominator is of a plus b into a minus b form. So we can write it as a square minus b square, right? So we'll get 3 square minus 4 theta whole square into cos z. This equals to 3 plus 4 theta by 3 square is 9 minus 4 theta whole square. 4 square is 16 into theta square into cos z. See, again, theta square appears in the denominator. So, what we have to do? We have to see what happens. I mean, we need to check by replacing theta square in the denominator. We should get the, the uh, denominator, denominator non-zero term, right? 9 minus 16 into replace theta square by minus 1 is equal to 9 plus 16. 9 plus 16 is 25, which is non-zero. So, we can dare to replace theta square by minus 1. Right? Replace theta square by minus 1. Then this becomes 3 plus 4 theta by 9 minus 16 into minus 1 into cos z. This equals to 3 plus 4 theta by 9 plus 16 into cos z, which is equals to 3 plus 4 theta by 25 into cos z. We can write this as 1 by 25 into 3 plus 4 theta into cos z. Right? This equals to 1 by 25 into 3 cos z plus 4 theta cos z. We know that theta is a differential operator. Just replace theta by d by dz and find derivative of cos z with respect to z. We will get 1 by 25 into 3 cos z plus 4 into derivative of cos z with respect to z is minus sin z. Right? This equals to 1 by 25 into 
3 cos z plus into minus minus 4 sin z. So this is the result obtained from the second term. Now coming to yp. yp becomes result obtained from the first term is z square e power 2z by 2 plus result obtained from the second term is 1 by 25 into 3 cos z minus 4 sin z. Right? Now we need to write everything in terms of x. For that purpose, what I'll do is, I'll write e power 2z as e power z whole square by 2 plus 1 by 25 into 3 cos z minus 4 sin z. Now replace e power z by x and z by log x. Then yp becomes, replace z by log x. We'll get log x whole square into replace e power z by x will get into x square by 2 plus 1 by 25 into 3 cos of replace z by log x minus 4 sine of replace z by log x. Or we can write yp as log x whole square into x square is x log x whole square. We can write it as x log x whole square by 2 plus 1 by 25 into 3 cos log x minus 4 sin log x. We got yp and yc. Now let's write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equal to yc plus y. Then y equal to yc we have c1 plus c2 log x into x square plus yp. x log x whole square by 2 plus 1 by 25 into 3 cos log x. Minus 4 sine log x. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations with variable questions in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.